So you wanna learn how to rank your YouTube videos so they show up in YouTube search. In this YouTube SEO video, I'll walk you through everything you need to know to learn how to get more views through YouTube and Google search. The channel that you're watching right now is the smallest of the three channels that we manage. Currently, we have around 6,400 subscribers and the channel gets around 20,000 views per month. Of those views, around 47%, as you can see from this chart, come from YouTube search. If you dig a little bit further into the external traffic, we're also getting another 1,200 views every month from Google search. Now let's take a look at the FigCon Espanol, the Spanish version of this channel. The channel has around 160,000 subscribers and gets close to 600,000 views per month. Taking a look at the same chart, you'll see that 42% of the views come from YouTube search. And looking at the external traffic, you'll see that 17,000 views over the last month come from Google search. So what is it that we do that allows us to get so many of our views from YouTube and Google search results? Well, I'm gonna walk you through seven YouTube SEO tips to help you rank your videos and get more views on YouTube. Tip number one, find topics that have high search volume and create videos about that topic. And so that probably sounds pretty self-explanatory, but what I thought might be helpful is if I hop on the computer and show you the research process that I would go through when I wanna create a new video. Okay, so here we are on YouTube. So I thought I'd do here is start looking for the most broad search topic possible and just putting in Canva. And so what you can see here is what comes up when you search for Canva. One is um, what you'll wanna do is also download the plugin uh, for Chrome for vidIQ. And so you'll see along the side here that the overall score for Canva is 74. You'll see the volume is fairly high and the competition is fairly low. And putting in a broad topic like this, what do you see for the search results? So the first video is how to use Canva tutorial. Keep that in mind. The other thing I like to do is just start opening up, open, oops, start opening these videos in other tabs. And I'll show you what I do as far as research on those in just one second. So the next thing I could do is go up to the search bar and you can see some other ideas start to pop up. One of the things that you can do is if you put a space, if you put say a star or a symbol, you'll see other ideas will fill in. Also, if you wanna put things before whatever the search term is, you can do the same thing before the word. So you'll see here star space Canva and you'll see how to use Canva. And then it looks like most of the phrases start with actually the word Canva besides this one. Another thing you could do is here, if you say, okay, Canva tutorial, but are there any other words kind of in between here? And you can do the same thing with putting a star between two words and you'll see Canva app tutorial, Canva thumbnail tutorial, Canva pro tutorial, Canva design tutorial. So for some of these, I can just rule out right now as I might create a thumbnail YouTube or how to create a YouTube thumbnail video at some point, but it's not this video. But what I would do here is start to put in some of the other phrases. So Canva tutorial. Okay, again, there's a pretty high ranking here. Volume's high, competition's low. And again, kind of scroll down and I'm gonna open up some of these videos. Canva Pro setup, maybe not that one. But yeah, so I mean, I've got a couple videos open right now. So I'm starting to get an idea of like some of the, the search phrases that are used. And then let's go into this first video. And then, so again, if you have the vidIQ plugin installed uh, in Chrome, you can scroll down here and you'll see all the tags that this video is using. This is great research for you of the number one ranking video just for the word Canva is using these tags. How to use Canva, how to use canva.com, how to use Canva app. These are all potential phrases. One, I would just, what I usually end up doing is just copying all these and, and copying them into some type of Word document to, you know, to have stored somewhere. Because the one thing you're gonna wanna do is then go test each of these and see how much search volume there is. So, you know, I could take this one here, go back to the other tab. And so this is 67 for volume and 71 overall. And let's see how, how to use Canva is. And so you can see it's a little bit lower than Canva tutorial was. Here's one of the other, how to use Canva for beginners. And so let's see if beginners is a word that we wanna be using, if that's something that people are searching for because they're worried maybe this is gonna be too advanced for them. And again, looking down at the video tags here, you see Canva tutorial, Canva tutorial 2020. And then so let's, you know, let's take a look at, say, this keyword, uh, Canva tutorial for beginners. 
and see, hey, does that still have search volume? You can see it's still something that people are searching for. You're getting more and more ideas. So one of the things maybe, do I wanna do something related to Canva for business, let's say. Let's give that a try. And so you can see here, 32 out of 100, next to no volume. Hey, there's not a lot of competition. To give you something, a completely different example, if you look for a keto diet, what you're gonna see here is, hey, the volume is huge, but look, there's a lot of competition. So you're probably not gonna, you're not gonna rank for this general keyword where you can see Canva tutorial wasn't super competitive. And so if you were doing stuff related to keto diet, you're gonna have to find phrases that are more specific. That'll probably still have search volume, but you wanna have less competition, especially if you have a YouTube channel that's kind of small. Another tool that you can use is Ahrefs YouTube keyword tool. Um, you can also do searches for Google and Bing and Amazon as well. But again, so if we put in Canva and you can choose the country and I am not a robot, you'll see again here. So Canva has 5,700 searches. Canva tutorial is 2,300. How to use Canva for beginners. So again, beginners in the phrase has Hey, at least a couple hundred searches. Canva tutorial for beginners. So you can see Canva tutorial or how to use Canva has quite a bit of search volume. So now we could go and record that video talking about that topic. And then moving on to tip number two, which is tell YouTube what your video's about. And you need to do this in three places. Number one is in the title, number two in the description, and then number three in the tags. So why don't we hop on the computer and I'll show you how our Canva video looks. Okay, so here's the, the Canva video that we actually put out this morning. You can see starting out with, well, here's what the thumbnail looks like. The title, another tip for the title is to keep it under 60 characters. You can see here I was able to weave in a couple of different keyword phrases all while still keeping it under the 60 character limit so you don't have your your titles cut off. And so you'll see Canva tutorial, Canva tutorial for beginners, how to use Canva, and then also, you know, having the year in the video a lot of times is important, especially with things that have been around for a while. People wanna make sure that they are seeing information that's up to date. That's the title. You can see keyword phrases in the title. Moving on to the description, you'll see Canva tutorial for beginners. And then if you go along further, you'll see how to use Canva. And so that's all weaved into the very first line. And then you see graphic design, Canva here. And then I also, you know, we recommend with the, the description to write up to, write over 100 words. And so you can see I added quite a bit more detail down here below. And if we continue to scroll down further, you'll see the tag. So this is a video that I published 12 or so hours ago, and you'll see that it's a, these little numbers next to it is from vidIQ that are showing the ranking for this these particular phrases for this video. So Canva tutorial right now is showing up 11, Canva tutorial for beginners 10, how to use Canva is a number 11. And so this is something that over time will, will continue to grow. If the video does well, it'll continue to rank higher and higher on YouTube. So those are the three places that you wanna make sure that you're telling YouTube exactly what your video is about. Tip number three, get people to click on your videos. So the click-through rate is one of the most important things of all of YouTube. It doesn't matter how great your videos are, if no one clicks on them, they're never gonna see them. And so you need to spend a ton of time thinking through, one, the thumbnail. So this is something that visually represents what your video is about. So when someone's scrolling through YouTube, they stop, check out your thumbnail, have an idea what your video is about, then they read the title. So then the title probably should have a keyword in it and something that catches someone's attention to be like, yes, I wanna watch this video. Besides the actual content of your video, those are the two most important things that you should be spending a lot of time on is having a great thumbnail and a title that well describes your video. As you can see from our Canva video that was ranking kind of low teens for a couple of different search results is over time, if people are clicking on the video and watching the video, you're gonna see it's gonna move up in search results and get more and more views. Tip number four, Get people to watch as much of the video as possible and ideally watch additional videos on YouTube. How do you do this? Well, the very first thing is you don't want people to click away right as they start watching your video. And how do you do that? You would essentially tell them, hey, you're in the right place. This is what we're gonna talk about today. 
because you don't want your videos to look like this, where essentially everyone's leaving in the beginning and only a few people are sticking around to watch the content. You want it to look more like this, where you lose a few people at the beginning, but a big part of the audience is sticking around for the entire video or most of it. Then the next thing is you wanna have a script or an outline for your video so you can stay on point um, on topic and not get distracted and get people, people are basically getting bored and not sticking around to watch more of the video. Another thing is you wanna do pattern interrupts. And so what I mean by that is you can change the angles of the video, you can put up graphics on the screen, you can have sound effects, things that kind of wake people up and engage them again to continue watching the content and not get bored and leave to watch something else or worse yet, close YouTube and go somewhere else. And then the other thing is you wanna do is get people to watch additional videos. And so not in the first couple minutes of the video, but kind of later on, you can insert cards. So that's the text that comes up along the top for a different video. Here's a card for our YouTube tags video that we put up recently. Um, something like that gets them to watch a lot of your video and then pushes them to another related video. Another thing is the end screen. And so you don't want to tell people that the video is ending. So you kind of end the video, have the end screen come up and say, hey, watch this video. And so what'll happen, you don't want people just leaving before the video is over. They get to the end and all of a sudden you give them the next video to watch. And so not only did they watch X minutes of your video, they also watch a couple more minutes of another one of your videos. Tip number five, get people to interact with your content. So interactions could be likes, dislikes, comments, or subscribes. And so there's a lot of ways to do this. For example, for likes, you could do something like Graham Stephan, where multiple times in all of his videos, he always tells his audience to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. As far as comments, people want to leave a comment, but they don't want to have to think. So don't just tell them, hey, leave a comment below, because then they're going to have to think like, what do I want to leave a comment for? And so if you give them a multiple choice question, for example, for this video, what's your biggest source of traffic for your YouTube videos? Is it suggested, search, browse, or something else? Leave that down below in the comments. You know, there's a couple different options, and so you probably have an idea from your YouTube channel and could write that down below. The last thing is getting people to subscribe. It has a bunch of benefits. Not only is it an interaction, but also that means that that person is gonna be notified when you put out new content but don't just tell people to subscribe in your videos, give them a reason to wanna to subscribe. And so if you're creating a video today and you know some of your future content they might like, say, hey, you know, I have this great video coming out next week, you should subscribe so you don't miss out on that or any of the other content that I'm putting out in the near future. And so that just pushes people a little bit further to click the subscribe button as you should do right now if you're not subscribed to our channel. Tip number six, embed your videos on your website. So a study done by Brigsby found that the number of times a video was embedded or linked to correlated very highly to that video's ranking on YouTube. So this is similar to backlinks. If you're familiar with just general SEO, the more backlinks a article or content has, the higher it ranks in Google search. It's similar with YouTube SEO, where if your video is embedded a bunch of places, it's gonna rank higher on YouTube. So you can do this a couple of different ways. So for example, we have a Squarespace tutorial video. We could have a video version and a text version of that content on our website, or you can embed videos as parts of larger sections. So for example, if we have a YouTube SEO article, we could have a, the YouTube SEO video there, but then also the section on YouTube tags, we could embed the video that we have about YouTube tags within that section. Tip number seven, drive lots of traffic to your YouTube videos within the first 24 hours of publishing. So YouTube looks very closely at the first 24 or 48 hours of a video to decide how much it's gonna promote it going forward. If a video is just gangbusters and has tons and tons of views in the first 24 hours, YouTube is gonna find other places to show your video and it's gonna to continue to grow. So we do this in a handful of different ways. The first way is through the community tab. And so if you have over a thousand subscribers, you have a community tab. And there we will post something, something like this, where we'll be driving people from a different part of YouTube to our YouTube videos. Additionally, we send out an email once a week to our email list where we include a lot of the videos we publish that week. And we ideally send that email within a couple of hours of publishing one of our videos. So say we publish a video on Wednesday at 10 a.m., 
we may want to send out our email probably a couple hours later. And so we're driving traffic right after a video was launched from our email list to YouTube. The next place where you can drive traffic is on all of your social accounts. So you also want to be sharing your videos on all of your social channels. So we generally share our videos on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Instagram, promoting it from all of those and driving traffic from those social channels to YouTube, which I love getting people onto YouTube that were doing something else previously. The last place where you could be driving traffic is through Quora, Reddit, or other online forums. You don't wanna just spam those forums, you'll probably get blocked, but if you're active in some of those communities, you can share content that you've created and drive traffic from different online forums to your YouTube videos. So there's seven tips to help you get more views on YouTube from both YouTube and Google search. If you wanna learn about the importance of YouTube tags, check out this video up above here. Also, if you wanna learn about how to make an amazing thumbnail for your YouTube videos, check out this video right here. Until next time, bye-bye.